In this video, I'm going to give you my five tips to help you speak in front of the camera better. So we should know by now that video is a very powerful form of communication when compared to text only or audio only methods. If you're a business owner and want to use video marketing to promote your services, or if you're an artist or creator of some kind and you want to showcase your work, or even if you're just passionate about something and you just want to talk about it and share it to your viewers, video is going to be the best means to do that. But how does someone just turn on the camera and start talking? For most people, it's going to be a lot harder than that. But these five tips are going to lead you in the right direction. If you want to start making talking head videos just like this, there's no way around this. You have to get over your fear of getting in front of the camera and speaking to a large audience. The good thing about video is that your audience is not present in the room with you. But you know someone is going to see this eventually and it is the fear of looking dumb or making a mistake or being judged that is holding you back. Now, how I came over my fear of being judged and speaking in front of the camera was inspired by a TED Talk. I don't quite remember the title of the TED Talk, but it was along the lines of getting out of your comfort zone or how to stop caring what people think about you. And the guy suggested to do one exercise. It's very easy to do physically, but it's very hard to get over mentally. And the comfort zone exercise that he suggested was to go out into a public place and lie down on the floor. That's it. I so wish I still had this video. I actually recorded myself doing this at my local mall. I went there, I had my phone recording, the whole thing. I did this at the food court because that is where the most traffic is going to be during midday. I panned the phone around just to show how many people were there and to show the fact that I was actually doing this in the food court. And then I found a spot on the floor, I lie down, and I think the TED Talk said to do it for like 30 seconds. I think I was down there for like a minute. And I was just, I was nervous. I was so uneasy. Uh, like people were walking by me. They were pointing, they were looking at me. But then I just got up and walked away. Like it was no big deal. No one said anything. No one came up to me. No one even asked if I was okay, which is a little concerning. But like nothing happened. And that comfort zone exercise convinced me that even though you're potentially doing something embarrassing, people might look at you, they might judge you, but you're gonna stand up and walk away just fine. So if you're scared talking in front of the camera, I suggest that you do that first, right? Go to a public place, lie down for even just 30 seconds, get up, you're gonna feel amazing, you're gonna feel the adrenaline rushing, and then talking in front of the camera is gonna seem like nothing compared to that. My second tip for making talking head videos is to either have a script or at least bullet points. The obvious benefit of writing out a script is that you know what you're going to say before you actually have to say it to the camera. Also with a script, you could lay out everything that you want to say, but then it gives you a chance to edit what it is that is important. With video, you are fighting to keep people's attention because the average person's attention span dropped from 12 seconds to eight seconds, which puts us just behind the goldfish. So it is very important to keep your ideas concise and no longer than they need to be. This doesn't mean they have to be short, but they have to be as short as possible while conveying the idea. The downside to writing a script is that you have to memorize the line before you deliver it to the camera, but that's not that big a deal because you get to take as many takes as you need to deliver it perfectly. When you write bullet points, however, you could just go with the flow and speak normally, but then you really don't know if you're going to get all the ideas that you want to get across. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Both of them have structure and that is important when you want to deliver ideas clearly and concisely. Tip number three is to speak in bursts. To make it easy for yourself, you wanna say one to two sentences at a time. This makes it so easy for us to deliver messages because we don't have to memorize the whole message in one take, but instead we could just take our sentences or our lines and then just edit them together so that way it flows naturally. Jump cuts are so acceptable in talking head videos that no one even notices them anymore. Tip number four is to speak louder than you normally would. This accomplishes two things. It makes sure that the microphone picks up your voice, and secondly, it adds energy to your voice, making you seem more enthusiastic. My fifth and last tip is to enunciate. 
open your mouth, let the words flow through. When I was a kid, I would always get picked on because I was very soft spoken and I mumbled a lot. I mumbled because my mouth wouldn't open and people just had a very hard time understanding me. I would always get talked over. It was not a very good feeling. Since then, I learned to enunciate my speech for the most part. Enunciating is going to enhance your speech. It's going to make sure that your audience is going to hear the words that you're communicating. Because with video, there is no second chance for the viewer to hear what you had to say. Now you may be thinking they could just rewind the video to the part that they didn't understand, but they would hear it exactly how they heard it the first time. In a conversation, we could ask, excuse me, can you repeat that in a different way? and then you would repeat it in a different way and then there would be an understanding there. But with video, you can't repeat it a different way if they rewind it. And that is how you speak better in front of the camera. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do not be shy to show me some love. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I do have some more videos coming up. This is Kevin Mendoza and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.